So this is a PET CT scanner. Um, within this large gantry, there is um, a diagnostic CT scanner. Um, so that's the front portion of the gantry. The PET component is in the back end of the scanner. So every patient that comes for a PET CT scan always gets a low dose CAT scan um, for anatomical overlay. Um, so CT or CAT scan shows anatomical detail and then the PET portion, um, which is part of molecular imaging, shows the function of your cells. So if there is a tumor anywhere in the person's body, the radioactive isotope that they have been injected with um, will bind to those cancerous cells and then they light up brighter on the scan. Um, so sometimes people refer to them getting contrast for their PET scan. Um, patients do not get contrast for a PET scan. It's a radioactive isotope, um, again, sometimes confused with contrast. Um, so there is no reaction to the um, imaging agent or isotope that we use for the PET scan. Um, the patients do not need to get um, labs done prior to coming in for a PET scan. Um, the imaging agent will not potentially harm their kidneys. Um, it doesn't put an extra workload on their kidneys. Um, this scanner does not operate like an MRI scanner that uses magnets. So patients that have different types of implants or hardware, that is also not a concern. We will see the metal um, in their body, um, but it's not going to disqualify them from getting a PET scan. Um, this is the, the PET scan is also beneficial in an instance where a patient does have decreased renal function and they can't get a CAT scan with contrast. Um, they can get the PET scan without a problem or causing any further damage to their kidneys.